This topic is finding the slope, y-intercept, and equation for a linear function given a table of values. So one thing you can find with a, uh, with a table of values, all you need is two points, okay? You don't even need all five or all four of these values. There's five. One, two, three, four, five different pairs of values. I only need two to figure all the rest of this stuff out, okay? If I have zero and one, I typically use those for sure as my two points. So I have 0, 7, this is the x, this is the y, and then I have 1, 10. Again, this is the x and this is the y. And I label them. This is the x of the first point, this is the y of the first point. This is the x value of the second point, and this is the y value of the second point. Now to find the slope, you need to know your formula for slope. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So there is a minus sign in the formula. So I'm going to leave that just like that. y2, however, is this value here, 10. y1 is the first y value, which is 7. X2 is the X value of the second coordinate, which is 1. And X1 is the X value of the first coordinate, which is 0. So when I compute this, I end up with 3 over 1, which is just 3. This is the slope. Okay. The next thing they're going to want me to find is the Y-intercept. Now remember what we learned about y-intercepts. Y-intercepts occur when x is equal to 0. So look at the chart and do you see the coordinates where x is equal to 0? We do. That would be these coordinates right here. The x is 0 in those coordinates. So then in that case, the y-intercept would be the y value, which is 7. So we are looking at the point 0, comma 7, and all we need is that y value. Now the next thing we need is the equation. And in order for me to write the equation, anytime it asks me to write, find, or give, the equation, you're going to want to use this formula. Okay? And so in order for me to use that formula, what I'm going to do is first identify what is x1 and y1, which we already have labeled here, and we're going to be, need to be able to identify our slope which we have calculated here. So if I plug these values in, slope was 3, x1 was 0, plus y1, which was 7. And if I distribute the 3, and I combine my like terms, we have the equation. Um, now, depending on the computer, I didn't take a look at that, but it could want the equation like this, or it could ask for the equation like this. Both of these are correct. Just pay attention to what they want, whether they want y equals or they want the notation f of x equals. Okay, but both of them are still going to have the same thing on the right-hand side of the equation.